Hello, Natasha. No, 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 I'm so sorry. Naomi, Naomi, yes, of course. Thank you so much for these submissions. Now, I realized that you actually didn't write any of this, but I was so impressed. I just wanted to go on these vacations immediately. So, Hanako described Hawaii, in particular, Sleepy Island. Absolutely brilliant. I didn't even think about putting a hammock under two trees and thinking that they were palm trees. And of course you need that smoothie to put you in that right place. Absolutely brilliant. Now, Nanoka. The destination here is Cancun. Play on the beach and collect the seashells. Join the pajama party for the kids and the piñata party. If it's a pajama party, I am there especially if it also involves a piñata. Absolutely wonderful, I cannot wait to go there. Next, I have Rahitu and the Maldives. What I was so taken by was snorkeling and I will eat dinner in the undersea restaurant. I can just imagine the fish and the coral around me as I am having liver and sauerkraut, so delicious. Next, I have Lakota, and the destination is Joe's house. How I will get there without leaving home is that I will first go get some cobwebs and put them in the corners of the ceiling. Next, grab a cactus and sit him down in the middle of the room. Then make a circle of sand around him and chant Joe 21 times, not 22, not 20, but 21 times. And Joe, the cactus, is alive. Next, Hunter told me about going to the moon. How I will go there is I will place lots of Swiss cheese on the ground so that I can walk on it. I will sit back and relax on the moon while drinking lemonade. Who knew that outer space could be so refreshing? Hunter certainly did. And now I too will know the refreshing qualities of outer space.